Hey, so this is a tutorial for a linear isolation, which looks like this. Okay, so um, the idea with this is that you want the hoop to be moving along a plane like this. Um, like I mentioned in the first video, it takes a lot from the wallflower and the isopop where it starts, you send it out like an isopop, and then your arm's gonna move across your body like this. Basically, it's, you're still gonna move your arm up like you do with the um, anti-spin like this. It's just uh, to a lesser degree. So you'll see when I do this, I'm sorry to stand up here, okay, um, my hand kind of comes up and then goes out like this. So instead of it being like this, you're just kind of doing a little bit. And um, it's going to come out kind of how you do your uh, the wallflower. But then it continues in a little bit different way. So, um, great. We can get started with that. Um, again, I'm going to stress stretching your arms out and trying this in as many places as you can, different arms, different planes of your body, kind of, you know, whatever. Play in a mirror. <laughs> I can't stress that enough because you're going to know right away if you're doing it right or not. Um, even if all you have is, maybe you don't even, I mean, you probably would have a mirror in the bathroom. Maybe there's not enough room. You know, use your computer, like webcam, anything that you can, because with all of these different isolation moves, it really, really does help to see yourself. Um, the other thing that I'm gonna say with the linear isolation is practice against a floor. So um, I'll do a little demonstration of that later, but what that's gonna do is let you see how even you're being. So if you can get it to where you're like maybe this far off the floor and it's just going straight back and forth, you know that you like have that moved down, right? Um, it's gonna help you so much. It's exactly the way that I learned it. Um, I had a really hard time getting it at first well, it took me a really long time after my friend showed me, but uh, practicing on the floor and just getting these uh, weird kind of arm motions down will help you a lot, but I'll go over all of that um, uh, eventually. So um, to get started with this, basically we are doing an isolation and just like with the isopod, you can push it out. So your arm crossing your body, and pop your hand facing inside the hoop. Now to get it to go over here, what we're going to do is let it roll over the top, just like you do when you're doing a normal isolation and your hand rolls. And then you're going to grab here, the 11, and then stick it out at 9. So rolling it, grabbing it, pushing it this way. See, this is how my grip is. Then my hand rolls over like this, grabs, and pushes out. It's basically, think you can think of it as kind of an extended isolation, so to speak. So you're going, you're popping out, and you're doing this rollover thing then instead of bringing it down, push it out. So practice, oh, okay, <laughs> practice this first because getting it to go back is really tough. It's not really tough, but it's just a whole other step. So just practice being able to do this and maybe you'll kind of see when you're, oh, there we go. Okay. So practice being able to do that. 
just that movement there. And that, again, is where practicing on the floor is going to help because you're going to see if you're moving your arm kind of in the right way. Go up. Oh, oh, here we go. Okay. So pop it out across. Go like this. And grab it here. And it's a really fluid kind of motion. So going like this. All right. <laughs> Before I get ahead of myself. Um, so to make it go back and forth, that's the trickiest part of this trick um, because it requires that you get some momentum, but there's not that much momentum there, right? So um, you can get some going here and then over here, but then you have to bring it back and do the same thing and get your hand going this way again. So uh, Obviously, it's just the same thing that you're doing before. So we go here, grab and go like this, and then it's gonna. You're going to simultaneously bring your arm back to center while the hoop rolls across. You're grabbing it on like one or two, pushing it out to three. So. Bringing your arm up, letting it roll over, grabbing it, and pushing it out. And that's the basic movement, so then you can kind of speed it up. Now, uh, when you're doing this, to get this kind of momentum build up to where you can go like this, um, what I do is, when I have it over here, I have a tight grip on it. So tight, loose, and then I grab it here. And I use this kind of pushing, like tight grip over here to really force it out, to like exaggerate that movement. You'll see my arm is kind of like that. And without the hoop, it looks like this. My hand is switching the grip over here when it crosses my body. It's like this, goes up, and then it's this way. Um, you can also do this on the side, popping it out and going this way. Um, I know that it is super difficult to get that momentum going, it's gonna feel super weird too. Um, oh, this is where a lighter hoop is gonna help tremendously. Like here I have this one. This is a 30 inch, like, I guess like 5 8 inch, some kind of like PSI tube and got it at Walmart. Anyway, I swear by these hoops, I use them all the time, they're so cheap. But uh, even just in doing this, I know it's a little bit more difficult, a little bit heavier, and, but um, something probably between 30 and 35 inches, something that's light is going to be a hell of a lot easier than something that's heavy because it's going to really tire your arm and your shoulder muscles. Um, so well, I'll use this just for the tutorials because it's smaller and this room is really small, but um, this one is really easy to do. And it's hard to let it, it's hard to um, keep it in control because it wants to kind of go all over the place. But uh, using those grips, I was saying, gripping it back here, you know, that's gonna um, kind of keep it in control. Practicing, even practice your ISO pops along the floor. This is not very good, okay. Practice your isopops, practice your linear isolations along the floor and you'll see where you're screwing up <laughs> almost immediately. Um, so yeah, that's a linear isolation. Um, let me know if you need any help or clarification on anything, and hopefully 
all of these tutorials have been a huge help and you've been able to kind of figure out the connections between them and really integrate all of these into your hooping and hopefully they'll also help you learn even more tricks along the way. So um, good luck.